sports fans, is more sports spec with another uh, little tour video here. This time we're going to the local uh, Best Pals Walmart. Um, I'm going to a Walmart that uh, is not one that I go to any more than like once every three years. It's pretty far away from me um, where I, I live um, in my part of the, the town I live in. I usually go to um, one that's uh, quite a bit closer and uh, seems to have a lot more um, variety when it comes to sports cards. But truth be told, I don't I don't really know how great the sports card selection is um, in this place because um, I don't go there often enough, and you know there may be some good stuff there and sometimes and bad stuff other times but uh, we will shortly see uh, what they have for uh, selection uh, this time around and uh, this will be a pretty short video because uh, honestly um, there wasn't a whole lot to look at I mean I guess I could have just wandered around aimlessly <laughs> and gave him my comments on you know like um, I don't know deodorant and uh, housewares and stuff like that, but uh, I, I would have to have a, um, a choir of people asking for such things before I would ever <laughs> venture in um, to uh, such places with the content, but um, yeah, the goal here with this video is to take a look at the sports card section, kind of show you what I see there, and uh, then after that we'll go check out um, some toys. I, I sometimes like to go see if there's anything that might be interesting to kind of open up on a, a video on the channel. And um, yeah, most, most times there's not. Uh, I feel like Target seems to have more kind of retro stuff and like the blind bag stuff that I've done. Whereas Walmart uh, doesn't seem to have as much of that, but maybe I'm just, I don't know, not seeing it when I happen to go there. So let's uh, saunter on into your best pals here and um, take a look here's the sports card section here um, this 2023 Bowman Platinum was kind of the only thing that was somewhat interesting but I know you can get these boxes for like 10 bucks off retail pricing uh, online there's a prestige football I think this might have been the only NFL football in uh, you know, kind of sealed form. You'll see there was a, like a, a factory set of Don Russ football, but other than that, it's kind of it. I thought this was kind of interesting. Uh, you're starting to see, you know, more products on clearance at uh, Walmart, which you used to see in the old days, but ever since the COVID boom, like nothing's ever been on um, clearance. These, uh, these Chronicles 2022 Chronicles draft picks. I have a case of them that I got for like a hundred bucks. Case of 20, so that's like five bucks each. And uh, now they're down 13, and you know, I'm pretty sure those were like 29.99. Got some Chronicles Baseball 2023 that just is not very interesting at all. And there's the Don Russ uh, factory set. Um, I was turn it over to see if I could find the um, the CJ card on there. And I, don't, I actually don't think I saw it when I was there. I was like looking, but there it is on the bottom right there, CJ Stroud with the little RC indicator. And uh, yeah, um, I don't know. What else can you say? I think these have like maybe some bonus cards, like five bonus cards. Most factory sets seem to these days, but I, was thinking, I think I was looking for the indication of that. Couldn't find any. Here's a 2023, um, I forget what they call these, like Superbox or whatever. It's got a foil five card foil board pack, and then it's all update series 2023, which is a pretty lousy product 20, for 2023 tops. I think series two is what you want. And I've been thinking about buying up a bunch because it's got Corbin Carroll and Anthony Volpe rookies. Oh, here I lied, I guess. Here's uh, some other um, 
NFL stuff. That's 2022 20, score, I believe. And here's some more select. Look at that. 3498 they were charging at 1.4. Select draft, which is just insanity. And that's, what is that, 2022 probably. Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, your usual magic. And uh, UGO and other gaming stuff. So that was it for the sports cards. Let's check out the toys. These toys are in the, um, the electronic section, just like at Target. They put the retro toys in the um, in the electronic section, and so uh, that's where they are at Walmart as well. That Gremlin is pretty cool. Gizmo. Um, you see some stuff from like 80s movies like Jaws. And uh, Elf, there's that Elf. I did a video on that Elf doll, if anybody's interested in checking that out in detail. I uh, would love to have you check that one out. Um, again, no blind bags at Walmart. And uh, here's a clearance section in that kind of like retro toys area. Didn't really see a whole lot there. Um, but I thought I'd kind of show you what's on sale. 13 bucks regular, $24.99 or something. There's some kind of Funko product in a pop can. We say pop in the Midwest. When I lived on the East Coast, it was uh, soda. Here is uh, more. Uh, boy, I, I feel like this is still in the retro section. Um, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, because there's the video games. Um, and after this, we'll go over to the regular toy section, look at Star Wars stuff, like modern Star Wars stuff. They have some of the retro um, Star Wars items in this section. Um, they do not have those at the Target one. There's a nice little elf plush doll that I thought was kind of fun. I thought I would see if I could find the price on that one, but no such luck. Um, kind of hard when you only have one hand because you're holding the camera. Um, there's an E.T. Uh, doll down there figure that I've seen a bunch of times at Target. A lot of this stuff, if it, if it like went on clearance for like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something, I'd, I'd definitely buy it up and take a look on a video. But a lot of those retro figures like that Elf one are like 30 bucks. So that's pretty pretty high price um, and I'm kind of surprised I don't see this sort of stuff on clearance more often just because I I've, I've been to Target a bunch of times and seen the same thing like over and over again so a lot of it does stick around so now we're in the relative quiet of the regular toy section I like to look at Transformers to see if they have anything that looks kind of cool these um like the ones you see right here, like that Bumblebee, that seems to be the modern Transformer packaging. Um, that one too, that Ratchet. Um, and they have like the year that that, I think that guy like debuted or something. Um, so I think I've bought maybe one of those before. I, I don't know where I put it, but um, yeah. So they have um, like G1, they're called like basically retro, you know, versions of um, previously issued Transformers from back in the 80s. I don't know if they ever sell those in the store. I've seen them online a fair bit, including at Walmart. And I've never ordered one, but I've kind of wanted to because they're kind of cool. They look, you know, they have the old style, like 80s packaging. Um, but uh, yeah, I've yet to pick one up. This one I was thinking, you know, it looks pretty cool. Thought I would kind of see if it was metal or plastic feeling, and I think they're plastic. Um, but I thought about it, I couldn't really figure out the price on it because it was not like by a sticker that had the price for that item. Here, there, that, that Obi Wan Kenobi figure, that's like the old school um, Star Wars figure packaging, like the retro look, which is kind of cool. Sometimes I've thought about picking those up, but they're pretty expensive, like $17 for one of those figures. It's pretty nuts. Um, there's Boba Fett from 
Return of the Jedi. So that's just like a kind of a, a reissue of a Return of the Jedi figure. Whereas those other ones are from like modern, you know, movies. Um, Star Wars stories movies. All right, so this, this kind of caught my eye here. We have a nice little clearance sticker, nine bucks, normal price, twenty nine ninety seven for this pretty cool looking um, Darth Vader figure that has like some lights, the light, the light separate lights up, and he's got some lights on his, um, you know, on his uh, outfit there, and um, also I think yeah, he's got some sounds that he makes. So I thought shoot for, you know, basically 66% off. I should pick that up. Um, so I kind of thought about it a little bit and actually was thinking that uh, my daughter had a, a toy. It was actually a, like a piggy bank that had a Darth Vader very much like this on it. And then you put a coin in and he like says something and his lightsaber lights up and that one got broken. So I thought I would buy this and give it to her. Um, of course, after I make a video on it. <laughs> so we'll take a look at that one um, sometime soon. And uh, then I check if there's anything else that's star looking star, you know, looking cool from the Star Wars section. And there was not a whole lot. So this is pretty much the whole video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I gotta figure out something to like put on screen while I'm babbling. Actually, I can do that afterwards. Just put an image up, but I may not do that for this video, just so I can get it up uh, sooner rather than later. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It does seem like I got a lot of requests for like this Walmart video, which I mentioned. I had shot some footage at Walmart, and um, I actually tried uh, the, like a week ago to go um, to another antique store that's actually kind of the biggest one in the area and that seems to have the most sports cards of anyone in the area, um, but it was closed. They're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, I guess. So I may try to get out there very soon and uh, do another antique mall video. And the nice thing about the antique malls is, you know, they change stuff somewhat regularly. Maybe if you go back every month and a half or something, every, you know, most stuff would be different. So hopefully I can visit those on a regular basis. I do like enjoying them. And if I can get some content out of it, then that's even better. But that's what we got for today. Um, I have not done a Target video, and I go to Target a lot for sports cards, so that might be next. Um, but uh, if there's other places that uh, <laughs> you think would be fun to see me explore, check it out. I will probably also try to do one of these videos, kind of like how I do this one, where I, I record the footage, you know, and then do a voiceover later. I might do that to uh, do like uh, a part of my sports card dungeon which has to be the most like requested thing ever um but uh yeah I, I could never figure out a way to like get my quality mics you know to move around with me while i look at stuff so i think i'll just kind of do it this way where i do a voiceover after i shoot some video and um i was thinking of maybe doing like a, a, a one part of my card dungeon for y'all to get the uh kind of first taste of it but uh, that's what we got for today folks uh, this is my stomach saying hello, by the way, and uh, we will see you all next time. Have a great one, and uh, yeah, keep the comments coming, and uh, let me know what you guys like, what you don't like, and uh, what you'd like to see more of. All right, have a great one. Bye now.